I forgot that one actually. Okay, fine. That is fine. Okay. But if you have any questions on the JDBC testing, how to connect, let me know in the next classes. Okay. Once you practice that one, then I will explain you that one. Okay. Okay. So this is what like you know okay so if you want to like manually uh, set up that one you can manually download the jar files for selenium okay and you can configure those jar files manually so how do you configure those uh, manually you will just go into the jdbc build path and configure build path once you go into configure build path you go into this library section and then you will click on this add external jars and then that's it okay or you can create a maven project and you can download that dependency okay so let me go into the next one so that is all like three part you can go through okay so selenium first script and running it on chrome browser okay so the thing is that like uh, uh, we have uh, yeah so you need to understand this one let me go here okay so driver link and it will okay don't worry okay so in selenium we have something called an uh, interface called web driver interface okay this is an interface actually this is an interface okay selenium is an open source tool okay developed by a group of uh, uh, developers okay where the thing that they have done is they have created a, an interface called web driver okay using this web driver they have created a class called a remote web driver okay remote web driver okay this is a class okay they have created a class and for this one they have created multiple child classes they are chrome driver okay firefox driver okay and edge driver like this they have created multiple classes if you want to execute your scripts on chrome browser you have to create an object for this chrome driver class okay and if you want to execute your scripts on firefox you have to create an object for firefox driver if you want to create uh, execute your scripts on edge browser you have to create an object for edge driver okay so but earlier like we have seen that whenever a class is implementing implementing an interface then we will create an object of this class with the reference to this interface so we will create objects like web driver okay driver this is the object name web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay so this is how we create objects similarly web driver driver equal to new firefox driver new edge driver so here web driver is the interface and chrome driver is the class okay let me show you here uh, let me go with uh, this one first chrome driver uh, edge driver firefox driver internet explorer driver but uh, internet explorer uh, is anyhow like you know it is uh, uh, it's gone so we don't have this one anymore uh, so op opera driver we have so chrome driver class is used to test runs on uh, to run tests on chrome browser edge driver for microsoft edge firefox driver for firefox browser internet explorer driver for internet explorer opera driver for opera browser first we need to create an object of the above classes to test any application on any browser okay uh, for uh, chrome we'll use it like you know web driver driver equals to new chrome driver new edge driver new firefox driver. like this we'll use this one okay now le let me uh, show you a picture here okay is it there in this one it's not there in this one. No, not this one.
Are you able to see this picture? Is it clear? Yes, that's clear. Okay. So we have some interface called search context interface. This is the root interface in Selenium. Okay. And then we have web driver interface. Okay. From the web driver interface, if you see the remote web driver class is developed. Okay. From this class, okay, we have these different things like Opera driver, Safari driver, Edge driver, Internet Explorer driver, Firefox driver, Chrome driver, all these subclasses are developed. Okay. So generally we use this web driver interface and we create an object for all these classes. Okay. So the root interface is search context. After that, we have web driver, we have remote web driver class, and then we have all the other classes. For mobile automation, again, later they have done is they have created another subclass called APM driver. Okay, APM driver for mobile uh, automation. Okay, and uh, again, the subclass for Android applications, we have they have created Android driver. For iOS, I mean, iPhone applications, they have created iOS driver. For Windows applications, Windows phones are also there, right? So for that, they have created Windows driver. So this is an, uh, another one for uh, uh, mobile applications, okay? And we have something called, from the search context interface, we have something called web element, which is an interface. From this one, we they have created something called remote web element class, okay? This remote web element class, this web element is nothing but like you know, when we we have the element, right? Element like a, a, a button, image, checkbox, radio buttons. Those are all elements. Okay, they, those are all related to this web element interface. Okay, so do do you understand this one? Okay, we have the root interface is search context, and then we have web driver interface. They have developed remote web driver class, and from the remote uh, web driver class, they have developed the child classes, Chrome driver, and all these things. So when we create objects for any of this browser, these are all like browser classes only. Okay, when we create any objects for any of these browser classes, we use the reference of this interface, web driver interface. Okay, so we'll create it like web driver driver request to new Chrome driver, new edge driver, new Safari driver. So like this, we'll create the objects for this one. Okay, now let me create a new project in this one. Okay. Mm, I will delete these other things later. I'll keep only the required ones. Okay. Let me create a new project here. And it is a Maven project I'm creating. And I'm I'm not create I'm not selecting the simple project. Let me go further and then let me use the filter here and what is that filter okay the filter is maven iphone quick star archetype iphone quick star okay so maven iphone archetype iphone okay maven iphone Architect iPhone quick stop. Okay, I'm selecting this Apache dot Maven archetypes and click on next. Okay, and then here I'll select the group ID as palm dot selenium. And this one selenium batch. So this is the artifact ID. I'm uh, taking and then click on finish. Okay, so yeah, it has created Selenium batch. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, now let me go into this palm.xml. Okay, so this is the palm.xml file that is created because we have the archetype selection. This palm.xml is a little bit more. Okay, so this okay. Now let me go into this uh, source. Okay, so the, if you see this archetype, like, you know, generally the main programs uh, we write is under uh, all the development that is done is under this main slash Java. Okay, all the units, uh, once the developers are done with their development, they write the unit test scripts under this one, under test slash Java. Okay, all the unit test scripts are. So this is how the structure of this project is, okay, for this particular archetype. 
um, for us like you know, we will create like you know, our uh, uh, our scripts in this one okay so now if you open this one there is a default program also created here using j unit okay that's why uh, they have uh, already have this j unit dependency okay let us remove uh, this uh, app.java here and also this entire package we can first remove uh, this uh, in the pom.xml like you know we don't need uh, this j unit because we won't be using the j unit so i am just removing this one j unit okay uh, once i remove uh, this one see here it is uh, showing some error because this is this test is written using uh, um, j unit and we have removed that dependency that's why it is showing an error let me remove this test also let me remove this package as well oh, we don't need like you know, all these things i'm removing this app.java as well and i'm removing this one as well okay okay so now let us uh, download the dependency for selenium jar selenium jar file so how do we do this one we just go into google and anyhow like you know we have this selenium java uh, dependency okay if you go into like you know this uh, selenium java dependency okay so we have something called like um, uh, three until three version and after three version so we have until three version here and from four version for, for the time being use three version because there are uh, some updates done in the 4.0 version okay I mean, not much uh, update. Once you know this 3. Point, uh, version, like in you know, a 4.0 version, there are like a few updates that we have. Okay, I'll show you this to you. But for now, use this 3.141.59 version. Okay, use this one. Okay, once we open this one, okay, then copy this uh, uh, dependency. Copy this dependency. Okay, copy this dependency. Okay, now I haven't pasted this one yet, but uh, see, uh, if you see this one, there is no Maven uh, uh, folder created here. Okay, but I think like, there is a GRE folder already. Okay, these are the system default ones. Let me, okay, let me paste this one. Oh, sorry, under the dependencies, you have to have put this dependency section under this dependencies. Okay, just remember this one. Okay, so dependency section, I have put it here. okay so under dependencies we have dependency section and then i am downloading this chart so now I, once i am putting this like in you know, a control s now everything is downloaded after saving and you can see this maven dependencies folder here so if you see this all these things are from uh, selenium if you see selenium code driver selenium edge driver selenium firefox driver selenium ie driver so all these things selenium uh, opera driver remote driver safari driver all these things it will be downloaded and downloaded to dot m2 folder okay now it is downloaded now we are ready to work with selenium scripts so all the things that you needed is what uh, what are the prerequisites that you have to do when you start with uh, selenium scripts first you have to create a maven project and add the dependency for selenium that's all okay now let me go into our first script okay so uh, let me under source main java i'm creating a new package here and the package name is and the package uh, name is uh, let's say uh, selenium basics okay so this is the package i have created and i am creating a new class under this okay first program okay and then i am using this main method finish okay so now we have created a first program and we have created this one okay now we have to create an object for the driver class how do we create this that one using web driver okay this is the interface right web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay this is how we create an object and we have to import these ones import web driver arc open qa selenium and then import chrome driver 
arg open qa selenium chrome so we have imported this one okay now if if you run this one it will fail actually okay let me show you this one the application see it is failing the path to driver executable must be set the path to driver executable must be set why this is giving this error in the you know, we are just creating the object for the chrome browser because okay because let me show you this one okay so we have like you know different browsers here let's say this is the chrome browser okay and this is firefox browser okay and this is edge browser what are these basically these are all different browsers developed with different programming languages okay this is not like you know, just one programming language this these are like you know chrome they have used their own programming language to develop this chrome browser and firefox they have uh, and edge microsoft people i think they have used c sharp uh, or something to develop this edge browser these are basically with the, so even though you create like an, an object selenium do not know like you know how to work with like you know these uh, all these different browsers okay that is why what they did was they created something called a driver.exe file okay driver.exe file okay for chrome driver they have created something called chrome driver.exe file so we use this chrome driver.exe file so that this selenium okay we will contact this chrome driver.exe and this chrome driver.exe file yeah, it will work on the chrome browser similarly for firefox we have something called gecko gecko driver okay dot exe file so this one will contact this uh, selenium will contact the gecko driver and gecko driver will work on the browser okay this one edge driver microsoft edge driver or I, edge driver dot exe okay so selenium will contact this edge driver dot exe and it will work on edge browser so we have to set up these files first and we have to tell selenium where these e exe files are then selenium will talk to these driver.exe files and these driver.exe files they talk to the corresponding browser so the first thing that we have to do is if you are working if you want to work on chrome browser you have to download this chrome driver.exe if you want to work on firefox browser you have to download this kiko driver.exe if you want to work on edge browser you have to download this one okay so now let us see this one okay uh, so, yeah so this is how looking we create uh, uh, paths i mean objects for different browsers for web driver uh, for chrome driver we use web driver driver equals to new chrome driver web driver driver equals to new firefox driver web driver driver equals to new internet explorer is not there i think now we have this edge browser so we use that particular class okay so but uh, and again uh, before doing this one we need to tell uh, selenium where our driver.exe file is okay so first let us download the driver.exe file for chrome driver okay let me go here and let me open google okay we will say download okay chrome driver.exe download chrome driver.exe enter this one okay the first thing web driver for chrome downloads if you go into this one okay you will see different versions here okay for example this is chrome driver 109 version 108 version 107 version so which version you have to download it again depends on your chrome browser version okay if you go into this right hand side like you know the three dots if you click okay you will see something uh, uh, called help okay under help you will see about google chrome okay if you click on this one you will see the version of your google chrome here which is 108.0 108 version so you have to download this 108 if your google chrome version is 109 download this 109 
if your google chrome version is 107 download this one since mine is this 108 i will download this one okay just go into this click on these three dots okay and go into help here and then about google chrome you will find the google chrome version which is 108 point okay so i am downloading this 108 point okay download this 108 so you have like you know google chrome driver for linux mac mac and win win 32 even though it is saying that win 32 it will work um, for any windows system okay just click on chrome driver underscore win 32.gip and it will be downloaded okay yeah yeah now it is downloaded the download is completed okay now open this one okay and show in folder okay i am opening i'm unzipping this one extract files okay it is unzip and if you go here this is the driver.exe file so now you need to put it somewhere and you have to specify the path of this one okay now let me copy this one let me go into d drive and i'm creating something called drivers drivers on this one okay just put it here so i have placed this chrome driver in this drivers folder in d drive now i have to tell my program where this driver file is okay for this one we have something called system dot set property okay do you remember this system dot set property do you remember this one yeah yes sir yeah so what what is what, what is this one system is what is that system uh system is like it, it is a class mm -hmm. system is uh, an, basically an object from properties class an object okay class, okay properties class where we have oh, different yeah. methods like set property get property get properties as well okay so yeah, yeah we use this set property okay they have given like you know from say specific paths okay for web drive for chrome chrome driver you have to use web driver dot chrome dot driver for edge driver it is web driver dot edge dot driver for firefox similarly we have another property that we have to set so you have to use system dot set property and you have to set this property to the path where we have stored our driver dot exe file okay for before creating the object for the browser class you have to set this one okay so now let me go into this okay so before setting this driver so let me use system dot set property okay driver dot chrome dot what is the one driver dot chrome dot sorry not driver uh, it is web driver dot chrome chrome dot driver okay web driver dot chrome dot driver okay now here you have to specify the path where you have stored this one okay so i have stored it under uh, d colon drivers chrome driver dot exe so here i'll say d colon drivers backslash backslash chrome driver dot exe okay put a semicolon at the end okay so we are mentioning that okay so this web driver dot chrome dot driver path is it is in d drive drivers chrome driver class chrome driver dot exe this is where my chrome driver class is sorry exe file is <coughs> now once i mention this one if i create an object okay for the chrome driver it will go and take this path and okay so my driver dot exe file is here and it will take this one and this driver.exe will communicate to the Chrome browser and it will open a new browser. So what is this driver object here? This driver object is nothing but your Chrome browser. Chrome browser that will be open. Let me run this one. Our application. Okay, starting Chrome driver. See, a new browser is opened. Okay. This is nothing, this object, this browser is nothing but your driver object. Okay, now you will interact with this driver only. You will use all the methods under this driver so that they will work on this browser. Understand? Okay. Do, do, do you guys understand until, yeah. until this point? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So first thing is yeah. you have to download the driver.exe file. 
and you have to use the right version for chrome driver.exe and also like for firefox and edge also i think firefox we have only one driver.exe file we will see that one but you have to download the corresponding right version okay once you download that one put it in some folder once you put it in some folder then you have to use system dot proper set property and you have to set for chrome driver it is webdriver dot chrome dot driver and you have to mention the path where you have this chrome driver dot exe file is and then you have to create a driver object we will use this interface webdriver and webdriver driver equals to new chrome driver class we are using so what it will do now it will see like where this exe file is chrome driver and it will communicate with the chrome driver the selenium program will communicate with the chrome driver.exe file and it will communicate with the chrome browser and it will open a browser session this, so this a driver is nothing but that browser session okay understand until this point browser yeah. session like like bit confusing i guess no, this driver object that you are creating, it is nothing but the browser that is opening. Okay, okay, got that. It is nothing but a browser. If I run this one, it will basically open a browser, right? If I you see, if I run this one, Java application, see, it is opening a browser here. It opened a browser. So this browser is nothing but your driver object. Understand? Yeah, it is clear, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so this is nothing. Uh, so a question so, here. Yeah. 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 If we have to uh, open a different, let's say if we are testing uh, opening a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Internet Explorer browser. So do we mm -hmm. have to do the IE, um, I mean, driver and uh, um, mention the path here as well, that IE yes. not EXE yes, yes. as well, driver path? Yes, yes. Everything will uh, change depending on the browser. We will see it like, you know, for the different browsers. Okay. okay. The first one okay. is the Thank Chrome you. browser I have shown. Okay. But yeah. you see it like for Firefox and Edge also. Uh, Internet Explorer is anyhow deprecated now, right? I think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, like Edge or something. Yeah. yeah. yeah Internet so, Explorer. but this is the normal way that we have to do in the system.set property. We have to mention that. Yes. Yes. There is no. So, uh, for, okay. Firefox, for Firefox, we have to set the path like, you know, webdriver.firefox.driver. Or gecko, I, I think uh -huh. gecko dot driver, web driver dot gecko dot driver. For edge, we have web driver dot edge dot driver. Like okay. that, we have to specify the path. And then you have to change this well as well. For Chrome driver, it is the Chrome driver class we use. But for edge driver, it is edge driver. For Firefox driver, it is Firefox driver. Like that, we have. Okay. We'll so see those in, yeah. in real in real time, when we are doing any testing uh, using different browsers, we have to. Yeah mention that exe file for the particular yes, browser but, but, but then... we, we mentioned the same way but like huh. let's say you have developed like you know some hundred uh, scripts you cannot huh. go and change it uh, for example i have developed it for a uh, chrome browser okay huh. let's say you want to run it on Fire, firefox you cannot go and change this path and also this object in all those hundred scripts right it takes true, a true. lot of time that is why we use a different mechanism there. We will maintain something called a properties file where we will specify like, you know, uh, okay. Uh, okay. The browser I have to use is uh, Chrome browser. Okay. Then we will do, we will use this conditions here. If it is Chrome browser, then create, set this path uh, and create a Chrome browser object. Chrome browser object. Else, yeah. else, okay. else, if it is edge, then create Edge, edge browser like that we'll do some conditions we'll, we'll come to see that one okay, okay. thank you thank yeah. you okay so this is how we do it okay now generally what we do is in, uh, you see this one i have created the path on my local drive right on my local drive i have this d drive in my uh, in my system let us say i push this one to git okay i push this one to git Okay. Somebody else has downloaded uh, this one and they will get the same thing, the same thing. But let's say that guy doesn't have a D drive in his system. He has like a C drive, some E drive. What, what happens? Again, he has to go and change this part like E colon and then like he has to create this driver's folder under the uh, E drive and he has to change it like in all the programs where we have this reference, right? 
that's possible so what we do generally is we won't store it in the local drive but in the project itself okay we'll store this one something like let's say uh, uh, I'm, I'm right click on the project and click on this folder i'm creating a new folder and i'm saying servers okay servers and then click on finish so a new servers folder is created within this project itself you see this is within this project itself i'm creating the servers folder okay now i'm copying this chrome driver.exe to this servers folder okay now this is copied to the servers folder so now i don't need to give this physical path here i can give the relative path here which is servers okay because this is within the project within this selenium batch project itself it is there so i can give the relative path like servers backslash backslash chrome driver so when it is pushed to git and when somebody else downloads this one they get this folder structure folder also okay they get this folder also and if you push this chrome driver.exe file also they will get this one also so they don't need to download or they just need to download this chrome driver file and put it in uh, servers servers folder that's all okay they don't need to like you know change anything like you know on their system so if i run this one now okay so chrome driver is created so this is how we generally do this one okay we'll create a local folder like in you know, a servers and we'll put all the uh, uh, .exe files driver.exe files under this servers okay for now we have done it for chrome driver okay okay now okay now we have seen this one so what is this driver basically tell me what is this driver the driver is an ob object no yeah i mean what what is the it represents your browser basically. Yeah. it is your browser yeah. so now once i open this browser see it is an empty empty page that is opening I run as java application if i see it is an empty browser that is opening no you are nothing it's an empty browser okay now if i want to open something we have something called driver dot get method get method and use the url in the double quote for example i want to open google http colon google dot com okay we have to use get method and use uh, the url within the double quotes here and it will open that particular browser so now let me run as java application okay it opened the browser and it opened the google web page okay so we have to use driver dot get and then okay so this is the browser once the browser is opened on the browser object we are using get method okay okay fine now we have done this one for chrome driver chrome browser okay let me go into uh, this one okay yeah okay there will open chrome browser and open the site tridef.com okay now let me go into the next one where we run the script on firefox browser okay let me go here running the scripts on yeah firefox browser okay so again firefox driver okay so for firefox driver it is web driver dot gecko dot driver we have to download the firefox driver uh, uh, driver.exe file and again it is the same uh, thing let me download the firefox driver.exe file okay so let me go here google okay. it is like you know gecko driver it is called for firefox it is called gecko driver okay gecko driver download it releases module okay yeah gecko driver go to this github page and once you go here come down okay so you will see like you know uh, all these uh, different things here so for win uh, gecko driver version 32 win 32 download this one okay this is a GIF, gif file okay so download this one okay so it is downloading yeah now it downloaded show in folder okay gecko driver let me unzip the file
okay now it is unzip go here and get this kiko driver.exe file okay copy this one and put it in the project on the servers folder so this is servers folder is there so paste it here kiko driver.exe is there now okay now let me copy this uh, uh, same thing yeah let me copy this same thing control c control v okay okay firefox browser okay so in this one so for firefox browser for chrome browser it is webdriver.chrome.driver so for firefox browser it is webdriver.gecko.driver okay so let's change this one to gecko and then servers slash it is gecko driver dot exe so it is gecko driver dot exe okay and then here you have to use firefox driver class okay firefox driver and let us download let us import this one import firefox driver. Thing enter on here. What is this one? Import Firefox. Go wrong. Open QA dot selenium dot Firefox dot Firefox. Yeah, okay. Got yeah, okay. So now we have got this uh, we change this one to from, from chrome driver to firefox okay so you have to set up this system dot set property to web driver dot gecko dot driver and then servers backslash backslash gecko driver and then web driver driver equal to new firefox driver and then open this one okay now and you have to have like firefox installed in your system okay so if you have firefox installed now if you run this one run as java application you can see Firefox browser is opened. Okay, and it opened google.com. Okay, did you, did you understand this one? This Firefox uh, browser? Any questions? No. Okay, fine. Now let me go into the next one, which is Edge browser. Okay edge browser for edge browser also uh, we generally have like uh, you know uh, i think this one like i have downloaded it some i have uh, i have developed this one is this the latest latest one uh, okay you need to find out which version okay again like for edge also you just like chrome like you know it depends on like your browser version this depends on your windows 10 system version you are using to find out which version you are using uh click on search bar settings and open settings okay yeah okay so open settings okay once we go into the settings okay so uh, go to system uh, and then go to about so if you go to system okay and then if you go to about i think it will give you the version so which version it is? Version is 21 H2. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Operating system build version. So operating system build version is this one. Okay. This is the one like, you know, that you have to download. 19,044. Let me go and check like. Uh, okay. So if we have this one, then you'll see the operating system version. So I downloaded the version. So. 19044 i think you can get it like you know from the just the edge browser also okay let me see this one i think earlier we followed this one but now i think we can see the edge browser version from directly from the edge browser also so if you see help and feedback uh, okay about microsoft edge so let us see like you know, if you can find the version yeah version c this is the one i think we have to use Earlier it is like you know let, let, uh, let's go and check like in you know, the browser let's try to download the edge driver.exe file okay 
ओके एच एच डी ड्राइवर डाउनलोड ओके इफ यू गो टू हियर सर्च इट इन व्यू गूगल एंड एंड इफ यू गो हियर यू सी द वर्शन हियर लाइक विच वर्शन yeah the version is 108.0. yeah this is one okay yeah you don't need to go into the settings okay earlier we used to go into the settings okay and then it is based on this operating system build uh, version 19044 but now it is not like that just go into edge browser go into this one okay help and feedback and uh, go to about about microsoft edge then you'll see the version name here the version number is 108.0. something okay now go to google and search for edge draw browser uh, edge driver.exe file download and you will see all these different versions so here here is the version 108.0.1466 to something like that so since ours is an 64 uh, bit windows 64 download this 64 bit version okay if you download this one so edge driver it is downloaded now go into the folder and unzip this one extract files okay now get this okay ms edge driver okay ms edge driver and then place it in this servers folder okay ms edge driver so now let us create a new one edge edge browser okay now again we have to change change this one okay if we go into this one let us see like into which we have to change this one okay edge dot driver and then you have to create the object for edge driver class okay so in this one i'll just change this one to edge dot driver and the file is ms edge driver okay so here i have to update this one to ms edge driver okay and then uh, create an object for edge driver okay so and we have to import this class import edge driver okay now if i run this one run as java application okay so this edge driver edge uh, browser is open and it open this web page google okay okay so did you get this one until this point like you know how to open different browsers okay these are the three basic steps that we need for any browser first you have to set the property for chrome it is webdriver.chrome.driver for firefox it is webdriver.gecko.driver for edge it is webdriver.edge.driver okay and you have to download the corresponding driver.exe files for each of these browsers and save it somewhere in your in the project folder so i have created a folder called servers uh, folder and i have saved it under this one okay firefox driver which is nothing but gecko driver.exe it is just one file but for chrome and edge we have to download the corresponding driver.exe files based on the version of the browser okay just go to the help section and see like you know about uh, section for chrome and microsoft edge okay and you will get the version based on the version number you have to download the corresponding driver.exe file once you do that one then we use this system dot set property and uh, specify where our driver.exe files are and then we will create a driver object using this uh, 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 the corresponding driver class chrome driver uh, firefox driver or edge driver and we'll use the web driver reference here okay and then we'll use the get method to open any url okay are you clear until this point any questions yeah it is clear so okay fine now let us go into the next chapter okay which is let me close all these things okay okay basic interview questions okay let us see the basic interview questions okay so yeah okay where do you generally like you use this automation scripts 
for functional testing or regression testing this is what like you know, we use menu menu for okay what are the limitations of selenium selenium supports only web based applications it cannot support any other uh, what, what, is, what, is, what is that we say uh, i mean uh, desktop based applications okay client server application or like a desktop based application where you need to install the software in your uh, desktop or laptop selenium won't support that it supports only web based applications okay captcha and barcode readers can't be tested with selenium you, you know what is captcha right like uh, when you are trying to log into something it will give you some image which contains some letters okay those letters you have to enter that one that captcha that is captcha because that is an image it cannot selenium cannot read letters or anything from an image okay so captcha and also barcode readers cannot can't be tested with selenium okay yeah reports can only be generated using the third party applications like test ng or JUnit. we'll see uh, test ng okay in future selenium is okay yeah this is one more thing yeah, selenium is a freeware there won't be there is nothing like immediate vendor support you have to find support from online communities okay for example if you have this uft okay uft is uh, from the company hp company right so you will have support from that company so that like if you face any problem you can contact their support team and they will help you with that but since selenium is an open source okay so there is no uh, nothing like a vendor support or anything like that you have to depend on the online communities but there are like a lot of uh, online communities are there like for each and everything that you face in selenium there there will be a solution online okay okay so what are the different types of web driver uh, apis available so firefox driver Jekyll, uh, uh, not firefox uh, Jekyll driver and firefox driver both are same we don't need like you know two things here okay and uh, internet explorer driver anyhow it is deprecated now so chrome driver edge driver safari driver so all these th different things that we have okay which web driver implementation claims to be the fastest we have something called HTML unit uh, driver, which I never used this one, but this is faster. Okay. So yeah, what are the different programming languages that you can use? Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, Perl, PHP, all these things. Okay. What are the, the operating system supported for Selenium web driver? Web driver, Linux, Apple, everything will be supported. Okay. What are the open source framework supported by Selenium web driver? We can uh, JUnit and also TestNG yeah so how to launch a browser using selenium web driver how do you launch a browser okay we use to launch a browser we use uh, the particular browser class for example if it is firefox we have firefox driver for chrome we have chrome driver and for edge we have edge driver okay so we use the reference as the web driver interface so Web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver or new Firefox driver or new Edge driver. Okay, this is how we open, we launch a browser using Selenium web driver. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, is Firefox driver a class or an, or an interface? This Firefox driver. This is a class only because we are creating an object for this one. If it is an interface, we cannot create an object for this Firefox driver. So, Firefox driver is a Java class and it implements the web driver interface explain the line of code web driver driver equals to new firefox driver okay so uh, they may ask you to explain this line of code so what is happening here here we say that okay web driver is an interface and we are creating an object of the type web driver by instantiating an object of firefox driver class okay so it will open a firefox browser basically okay why do we create an uh, uh, yeah now let me uh, ask you this one why do we create like web driver driver equal to new firefox driver instead of creating firefox driver driver equals to new firefox driver this one earlier when we uh, were uh, discussing about the interfaces concept we discussed this one okay instead of creating it like you know using this class itself firefox driver driver equals to new firefox driver we will use the interface name this is because if we create a reference variable of the type of driver then we can use the same driver variable to work with any any browser of our size choices such as 
safari driver ie driver etc that means if we create an object like this we can easily shift this one to different browsers okay we can convert this one to chrome chrome driver or we can convert this one to edge driver okay if we create a reference variable of the interface type okay we can uh, we can use the same variable the same variable this driver object we can use it to work with any other browser that is why we will create an object in reference to the interface okay so what happens if we run this command driver dot get this one okay so let me show you this one let me go to this first program so see here I am using driver dot get http colon domain. If you don't, we have to use this http colon. If you don't use like you know http colon, if you run it just like this without http, it will throw an error. Okay, so it didn't open the it opened the browser, but it didn't open the URL. See what is the error it is throwing? It is throwing okay invalid argument exception invalid argument exception because we haven't given this http colon if you don't give this http colon it will give you this invalid argument exception so if you use http colon then it will open the url correctly okay so you have to have this HTTP otherwise it will throw you invalid argument exception okay just remember these exceptions also sometimes the question is can you give an example some, some of the examples of the exceptions that you faced in uh, selenium so then you can say that okay okay so when we use driver.get command if you if we don't give this HTTP uh, colon then it will give you invalid argument exception so just remember just make a note of like you know, these exceptions okay okay now the next uh, an exception is thrown we need to pass http protocol within driver driver is it possible to automate captcha using selenium no list some scenarios which we cannot automate using selenium web driver bitmap comparison automating captcha uh, and we cannot read barcode so these are all like you know, some of the things name different driver classes for different browsers so for chrome chrome we have chrome driver class for edge driver for edge browser we have edge driver class for firefox driver we have firefox driver for uh, internet explorer we have like you know, we don't need this one for opera we have opera driver so like this these are the different driver classes that were implemented okay so this is about the basic things that we have to do uh, to start with selenium okay any questions okay so any, any any questions are you are you guys clear yeah i guess clear so no okay. yes. so now like uh, i'll upload like you know all these uh, things yeah, and tomorrow I will also show you how to install uh, uh, a car rental uh, project you have downloaded and installed uh, what is this XAMPP right so if you install car rental project then you can open it's like a local website uh, that you will be running so this is a car rental site like you know, where uh, some of the things like you will know, practice on this one okay and we also have local uh, for local testing i have created something uh, let me see what it is uh, selling in practice okay to index okay so this is a web page i have created for practicing uh, selenium so i'll give you this one also uh, so yeah I'll, I'll tell you like you know tomorrow how to uh, where to put these pages in xampp once you install xampp okay and also how to install 
the car rental project also i'll upload this car rental project also to google drive okay so that you can install that one also okay so that you can start practicing on this one basically but for now uh whatever these ones recommend that we have discussed like uh, uh, uh i mean creating a new maven project and uh, set up the set up the jar file dependency in the Maven project and um, download the driver.exe files for different browsers and create like you know different uh, uh, browser objects and open the urls like you know what are the url that you want and practice it like on the three browsers okay and again we'll see on monday today is friday right yeah again we'll see on monday so in this weekend like whatever that is discussed so far please try to practice that one okay java and also the selenium uh, concepts okay see see what are the java that i have that i'm telling you you don't really need like you know all those things like you know, but definitely when you go for an interview they will definitely ask you all those concepts okay that's why i i i gave you like you know all those java concepts because if you go for an interview they will ask you okay you may not be using all those concepts in selenium okay but for interview purpose they are definitely needed okay so go through all those java concepts and practice them and practice these selenium concepts also okay okay so any questions Okay. It is chaos. Yeah. Okay. Okay then. Then we'll meet on Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for the class.